hello friends long time no see i hope you guys had a long mea break and had fun oh, did you enjoy your days off it was probably nice well i suppose it was probably the same as normal for you guys huh so today i'm coming to you with a circle time about a couple bugs and with this new story about bugs comes a vocab word, aphids. So when you hear me say aphids, I want you to touch your chin, okay? Now, this book was my favorite book when I was younger. It's so funny. Today I'm going to read you The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. He writes a lot of good books. Here we go. We're going to start with this already. Now, here's a small picture of what aphids look like. They're little tiny bugs that live on the back of leaves and they drink up all the juice and that's what they eat. Here we go. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. That's early. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. She saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, said the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? Well, if you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. And the grouchy ladybug took a step back. He looked less sure of himself. Ah, oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, he said. Then why don't you go pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. I'll show you. He puffed himself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, the grouchy ladybug said. You want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Here's the stinger right here. It's very sharp. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. It flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening his jaws. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. It flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy, grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front legs. Ah, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Ah, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, he saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out his claws. Ah, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Ooh, almost missed one. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Ah, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 1 o'clock, it happened, happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena. 
laughing eerily and showing his teeth. Uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla. Ah! Uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Look at how tiny the grouchy ladybug is compared to the gorilla. That's crazy. And he wants to fight. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowing its horn. Uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. As we keep going, keep looking for the ladybug. He's just going to get smaller and smaller. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing his big tusks. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. It flew off. Do you see him? At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. Ah, uh, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave it the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. Whew. At six o'clock, Six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where he started. Oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. He said, thank you. And the sweet one said, you're welcome. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, said both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Done. Wasn't that a great story? Ugh, I never get over that. It just cracks me up every time. He says, hey, you, you want to fight? But he's just so tiny. So... I noticed that in the beginning of the story, let's see if you see it too. Do you see all those aphids on the leaf? Holy cow, there's so many. And the sweet ladybug ate them all by herself. Well, almost all. She saved some for the grouchy ladybug. So I thought we could count how many aphids are left. I'm gonna to point to them and I want you to count with me, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Do you see any more? Did I miss any? Nope, there's 13 aphids left. That was it out of that whole leaf. Well, I think the grouchy ladybug is very lucky that the sweet ladybug left some for him. Well, as usual, Miss Nikki needs to move around a little bit. I've been sitting for a long time. So we shall do some windmills today. All right, ready? Don't forget to stretch it out. Stretching is important. Here we go. Now, windmills are where we're going to reach up 
and touch our toe. And up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Whew, and ten. Miss Nikki's not as flexible as she used to be, so that was hard. Okay, so my question of the day is, let's see if you were paying attention. What are aphids? Don't forget to have your grown-up message me on Remind, Learning Genie, or even call me and let me know what you think an aphid is. I hope to hear from you guys soon. I think we're going to end with our goodbye song. I kind of like it, so I figured we could do it. That inspire. Ready? Sing with me. You should know it by now. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. Bye bye, butterfly. See the loo, kangaroo. Time to go, buffalo. Time to go, buffalo. Give a hug, ladybug. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Just like that. Fat cat. Take a bow, milk cow. Take a bow, milk cow. See you soon, baboon. Ready? We're going to do it again. I'm going to do both parts this time. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. In a wild crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. Bye bye, butterfly. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Time to go, buffalo. Time to go, buffalo. Give a hug, ladybug. Give a hug. Jellyfish. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Just like that. Fat cat. Take, Take a bow, milk cow. Take a bow, milk cow. I'll see you soon, big baboon. See you soon, big baboon. All right, that's the end. See you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye.